the Jays have got to stop doing this. Over the last three years, Ross Atkins, the GM of the Blue Jays, has made a lot of big trades that have involved a lot of his big prospects, and they have not gone his way as of late. Starting way back in 2020, during the pandemic, the Jays traded Rowdy Telez, first baseman, for Trevor Richards. And in the Jays' defense, Telez was struggling, but is now on the Brewers and is their three-hole hitter, putting up double-digit home runs every year while Trevor Richards is a low-leverage reliever for the Blue Jays. Fast-forwarding to 2021, at the trade deadline, the Jays traded their top two prospects, Simeon Woods Richardson and Austin Martin, for Jose Barrios. And Austin Martin was about their number one prospect, Woods was about their five or six, and Barrios was a big pitching piece that the Jays needed. But as we look back at this trade now, Barrios has not been the best pitcher, and they gave up two of their top prospects for him, which is not looking like a really great deal for the Jays right now. And now this offseason, the Jays traded Gabriel Moreno, their top catching prospect, and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. for power hitting Dalton Varsho, who's supposed to be putting up really good numbers, somewhat high batting average, and a lot of home runs, but he is not. Varsho is hitting about 230 with seven home runs. The defense has not been that great. And Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is now on a 17-game hitch streak, and Moreno's hitting 300 with two home runs. Another example of another horrible trade by the Blue Jays, and another key piece lost for their franchise.